How's it going guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about inspiration and I want to tackle a question I get on almost a daily basis. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I work on something every single day and it's always a new idea. And I usually get a DM every single day saying, Hey, how do you come up with these ideas all the time? I have trouble coming up with one a week. So I want to talk about that. Now, this isn't something that just happens in a day. This is a this is a work ethic and a process that I've developed over the years of me working even before I did 3D work. And it's just being diligent. And before I get into the inspiration, if you're having trouble coming up with ideas, you need to first figure out if you like what you're doing. If you're not curious, if you're not inspired by other work that people are doing in the medium that you're trying to do, like 3D art, After Effects stuff, Photoshop stuff, graphic design, logo, whatever you're doing, if you're not inspired by it and really curious by it, then you're not going to want to make stuff. You're you're doing a job, you're not doing something that you enjoy. So make sure that whatever you want to make, that you really want to make it and that you're inspired. For me, I'm very curious. Every new technology I've dabbled with with After Effects or new dis stuff, like even when I started 3D, it was out of a pure curiosity. It wasn't out of a, oh, this will make me money. This will be a career. It was just like, how do you do this crazy stuff? But as you get as you get older, you will need to start considering, you know, will this make me money? And then all that kind of stuff. So I don't want to put that part in the background. But you need to be curious. Once you get past that point, you need to look at other people's art. And that's going to be the point of this whole video is you need to develop a process of inspiration. Where do you see the art? Where do you find your art? All that fun stuff. And one point I want to make clear is don't be an island. Don't be that purest artist who thinks that it's cool to not look at other people's art and you're your own inspiration because that's just not how your brain works. You can't come up with new ideas from a blank canvas and your brain can be a blank canvas if you're not exploring other people's stuff. And you generally do that subconsciously, so no one's really a pure island. But if you're not consciously looking at people's art, trying to learn, trying to appreciate, love the art, and get something from it, you're not going to come up with new ideas. And I harness that when it comes to coming up with new stuff. And so I use things that help me, and this one thing that really helps me is also today's sponsor, which is Milanote. So I'm gonna show you guys how I use Milanote and compile a bunch of crazy different inspirations and how I get them. So let's do it. So this is Milanote. You know, it's a really amazing tool. It helps you organize stuff. It's more than just a inspiration board. You can do it. You can help uh, with storyboarding and even, you know, planning out your day and planning out your day for different clients or team members, all this stuff. It's, it's truly an incredible software. And so I'm gonna to go to my boards. So there's two styles that I like to go after when I'm working, at least currently, which is a very um, soft lighting and a very sci-fi style. So I'm gonna to go to the sci-fi style board. Oops, wrong one. This is my sci-fi inspiration board and you can see it's just full of crazy stuff. And when I'm designing, sometimes I will focus on a specific one and go strictly after it. And Sometimes I'll just take different assets and different ideas from specific ones and just do that. So all week I've been intensively on Milanote trying to look at these things and um, develop inspiration. So I'm going to throw up some speed art videos of me working and looking at things and getting inspiration from all those types. If you want all the project files from my different studies this week, you can purchase the pack in the description and you can get those. But if you're on my Patreon, you get these all the time. I'm always working on new stuff and I usually give you guys um, on a weekly basis several different project files. So you get, you can sign up for the Patreon in the description if you'd like, feel free to do that. So what I'm gonna do, so here's one, <clears throat> so here's one render that I just recently made and I wanna pull up the inspiration for that piece. This piece right here, I'll just pull him up and make him really big. So this is the inspiration for it. I wanted to take these weird planks and make something really cool with that idea. So one thing you need when you're designing is a spark of creativity. Sometimes it just takes one little thing. Sometimes it's a color palette. For example, I just did this render today during a live stream and the spark that got me going for this render was was a color palette. Now this one, this render right here is not available in the pack because this uh, this isn't this model was not created by me. But I was trying to figure out how to make a really cool thing with this model and I couldn't figure it out until I came across a color palette. So sometimes you can just do 
and find color palettes. And you can actually go here in Milanote right here and add in color palettes using hex codes. It's really, really cool. So back to this one. I wanted to do something with this. So I thought, okay, how do I take a plank and make these little greeble looking things? And then I, I started modeling this. And then as I was modeling it, I started placing them around. And then instead of having them all intersect like in the inspiration piece, I sectioned them all out together and then I put in these cords. And as I was working, this was around a two hour process, I came out with this render. So if you're trying to be an island and a guy who only takes inspiration from yourself, you're not going to create things like this. You're going to, who knows what you're going to do. So I, you need to have a bit of humility when it comes to being an artist and understand and respect other people's art and take things from it. So this guy's piece is nothing really like mine outside of these weird greeble planks and these little light things. But I have a different color palette. I have these different things going on, a different composition, a different render. And so I'm not stealing from the artist. Don't steal from the artist. Take inspiration and then do your own thing and make some crazy sci-fi thing or whatever you want to do. Now let's head on over to the other the other one right here. I call it Shader Kit Pro. And this is a completely different style. And also just I had fun with playing around with the, uh, the grid and how I liked it to look. So now I have this. So what have I done in inspiration? I you the last time I was working, I really targeted this piece, which I got from Instagram. My biggest inspiration grabber, I usually take things from Instagram, so I'll go on my computer and I'll hit the little save button on there, and then I'll take that link and paste it here into Milanote. Milanote also has a web clipper extension that you can download for Chrome and Safari, which makes this process even quicker. And so I'll compile a list of just as I'm saying, as I'm inspired by, and then doing that. So you're watching the speed art for that right now. Now this one, for example, is um, almost plagiarizing the guy. So as I was working, I had actually put it on my Instagram story and I tagged him in it, letting him know that, you know, I'm acknowledging that this is his design and I never posted it to my Instagram. The guys on Patreon got that, but again, I tagged the guy and I made sure the guys on Patreon knew that this design is from him, but I did my own take of it, different environment, different colors, different textures, and I had a lot of fun. So the point on this one is you don't need to post everything on you know your main social media. So I didn't post it on Instagram and that's my main thing. I like to, when I make stuff, I really enjoy being able to post it and showing everybody, but I was only, I only showed it to a small amount of people. This was really for me. So I had a lot of fun with that one and I, I was able to make a really cool design from being inspired by that guy and I learned a lot about his composition from just that one piece. And then you can, as I was designing, I was looking at things like this one and I was scrolling down and I was having a lot of fun and at one point I was having trouble with lighting so I went through here I was like, okay, how about this one? Does this one have cool lighting? Yes. I like the way the sun is positioned going this direction and then as I placed it, I liked it, I, I changed the sun some more. So I'm going through and I'm get, being inspired by these guys and having a lot of fun. And again, very important, have fun. Have, if you're not having fun, what are you doing? So this is how I use Milanote in my daily work. Um, my favorite one, my favorite board right now is sci-fi. I'm really obsessed with making these kinds of things. And again, another piece that I made just recently, you know, being inspired by this palette, um, being inspired by the, uh, the soft, you know, shading of a couple of these, I said, okay, let's make some soft shading something, you know, and I liked how, you know, on this one, you know, this can be very random, but I liked the way the creases looked here. So, okay, I want to do something with creases. So created some creases right there. And then I went with soft lighting, got a color palette, applied it, and I had fun. So that's how I use Milanote. That's how I create things every day. I hope this helps you. It, it, it certainly has helped me in my process and becoming a better artist on a daily basis. But remember, have fun. Um, so my, my biggest takeaway from this is just compile a lot of art that you like. Be humble about it. Know that it's other people's art and you're appreciating it and you're taking things from it. And the more you take, there's a point where you should acknowledge that artist. So don't, you know, be wary of plagiarism, but don't plagiarize. Um, have fun. And, you know, if you're having trouble, don't feel like you need to make something every single day. Just, you know, if you have your own goals, your own processes, this has really helped me. Thank you guys for watching.